Once we arrived at night, we headed straight into town to grab some dinner. Since I haven't spent much time in Winston-Salem, I wanted to spend some time walking around and exploring the area. We came across Artivity on the Green, which I thought was such a cool way to utilize this space. It was like really creative, graffiti, interesting structures, also a great photo op spot. Everything I saw online about Winston-Salem directed me back to sweet potatoes, so we had to try their sweet potato cornbread. They also had delicious fried chicken. I was so stuffed. Hi, so for New Year's Eve, my boyfriend and I rented out this little tiny house as like a unique Airbnb stay. Uh, we wanted to sort of bring in the New Year in a very calm, like relaxing way. We went to Target and we picked up like all these fondue supplies and we have some board games and we're gonna pop champagne. Uh, I think it's gonna be like a really chill, calm way to bring in the new year. I'm um, sort of like over the phase of going to parties and bars as a way to bring in the new year. I really wanna make sure I'm like grounding my energy and just sort of like really being able to reset as we enter 2023. All right, so. We picked up some fondue supplies and already packed them away. Of course you need water because you know, you can't survive any evening without water. We have some chocolate flavored candy coating. I got chocolate flavored and then vanilla flavored because that's all that Target had. Hopefully it will be easy to melt the chocolate. I feel like any time I do fondue, there's always a risk that you're going to burn the chocolate and it just, it's not as great of an experience. This side is a refrigerator and this side is a freezer. Um, so we bought champagne, have some wine, orange juice if we wanna make mimosas in the morning, um, some strawberries for the fondue, and then I got some grapes because I learned about the tradition of eating 12 grapes and that bringing you luck for each month in the new year. So that's what I plan to do as well. The issue here is that the directions say use 50%, but we can't get to 500 because it's a 1,000 watt microwave. Yeah, that's true. You might know, but I don't. Okay, and let me know in the comments what I was supposed to do because by the end of this, you'll know if I burned the chocolate or not. having a quiet New Year's Eve with my love. It was so nice to just spend time reconnecting. We used the and cards just to have like really deep conversations. After having the delicious fondue, we spent some time scripting about things we wanted to release in 2022. I just really wanted to be intentional about the activities that night so that we're able to reset as we enter into the new year.
It was so peaceful to wake up to the sounds of birds chirping. I didn't hear any cars outside. I felt so clear and the air felt crisp. So I wanted to continue on with my scripting. Some of the prompts I used were, what is my mindset in this new year? Who is the person that I wanna be? What does her life look like? Before we checked out, we sat down and did a guided meditation on cleansing our chakras and just performing some self-affirmations. It was a good way to prepare ourselves before we entered back into reality. We were absolutely starving by the time we checked out of the tiny house, so we were searching for restaurants and most of them were closed because it was New Year's, but Catherine's was open and they're known for a delicious French breakfast and brunch. Um, we didn't have reservations, so we actually had to sit at the bar, but we had the entire space to ourselves. So it's day two on our adventure in West Winston-Salem. We're walking through the historic district. Daryl, what do you think? Yeah, it is spooky because it's a very foggy day and of course we're surrounded by buildings made in the 1800s <laughs> But it's definitely the thing to do when you come to visit not many towns have such a large area that's historically preserved So it's fun to see Well, one of the main things to do in the well in the historic area was to pump water, but it looks like it's all tied off, so we'll have to come back in the future. As for today, <laughs> we're at Court. What's it called? Grant it's Park. Our last day. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> we're at Grant Park, where they have the spruce pine quarry. <laughs> it's a cloudy day, but it is clearing up. So hopefully, we can have some nice views of the skyline. <laughs> I didn't really plan for so many places to be closed on New Year's Day. I guess I didn't do my full research as I normally would, but it was still nice to have, you know, all this empty space to ourselves. We grabbed some coffee and had a nice chat. And once we had headed back outside, the clouds had gone away and then we took that as a sign to continue on with our adventure and make our final stop to Pilot Mountain. at the park we learned that we couldn't drive up the mountain because there were too many campers so we would have to hike all the way up there and so by the time we got to the top we were completely exhausted since we had been exploring the city all day and we weren't really fully prepared to do a six mile hike but we made it to the top and I think the meditation for, from earlier that morning had really 
prepared me <laughs> to take on hard things and it was a good reminder that we use these tools so that we can do hard things and that we can conquer 2023 as long as we enter it with the right mindset. Thank you.